More than 600 million people around the world watch the lunar landing on television, including the space journalist Dr. Ken Kramer, who runs the website Space Up Close and joins us now from his home in Florida. Thank you so much for your time. The celebrations have been a wonderful opportunity this week to uh, really remember some of the detail and the significance, the incredible, um, as well, efforts made by everyone involved in this mission. Oh, absolutely. There were over 400,000 people who worked on this project. I remember it very well as a young lad and looked up the moon in, in absolute awe that there were people, two people walking on the moon. You know, 50 years ago today, I was watching the TV. So it was very exciting. I've been at many of the events uh, this week, including today. And uh, you were talking about, um, you know, the Washington, D.C. memorial. I was there for the the replay of the of the launch that was just four days ago. So very exciting, very uh, exciting. It's still extraordinary, breathtaking in many ways, watching these pictures again, as we are doing at the moment. Um, and just explain what they actually did when they got onto the moon surface, because they were there for, what, over 20 hours? Well, they were on the surface for about 20 hours, right? They landed, and then they got ready, and then they actually walked out. They, they, they exited the lunar module got onto the surface, they spent about two hours on the surface, and they collected rock and soil samples, planted the flag, as you guys mentioned. They did a, a phone call with President Nixon and, um, and, and set up science experiments. So they did a lot. It was a short visit, but it was the culmination of, you know, eight years, eight to ten years of work since President Kennedy gave us that direction to land on on the moon before the decade was out. So it was a great accomplishment. And of course it led to further moon landings. But I wonder now looking back those 50 years whether this has really re-energized people's um, interest in the moon but in particular what lunar exploration uh, could hold for us in the future. Oh absolutely. You know well first of all we learned the origin of the earth moon system. So we learned a lot about about uh, from the rocks about where, where we all came from. Now we want to go back to the moon. Really, we never should have stopped going to the moon, but there is a lot of interest right now. Um, the U.S. is leading the Artemis program to land uh, the first woman and the next man, right, in 2024, within five years. Europe is part of that program, the Orion program. They're building the service module. I just saw that uh, Orion capsule with the vice president a few hours ago, so it's ready to go on the first unmanned mission. And then we'll have a crew mission, and then you know, within five years, we'll we'll hopefully uh, be landing, and it'll be a it'll be a truly an international effort, because I said Europe, as I said, Europe is is involved in that, and we'll be doing a lot of great science. We'll be going to the South Pole, where they'll be looking for water, which you can make into uh, rocket fuel and oxygen to breathe and live off the land, and then do a lot of great science for the future. Yeah, because they, they often describe lunar exploration like this as a kind of horizon project, don't they? A, a stepping stone, effectively, yes. to, to then missions to further out in our solar system, like, for example, Mars. Oh, that's the next step. We have to go to the moon first. You know, we haven't been there in 50 years, so we have to prove that we can go back there. We have to prove that the technology will get us there and that it's reliable, because, you know, if you have a problem like we had on Apollo 13, for the moon, you're only three days away, but Mars, you're six months away. And to get back, the round trip is really closer to two years. So we've got to prove out that technology at the moon, prove we can do it, and then we can go on to Mars. I'm very excited about Mars. You know, there could be life there. I'm an organic chemist, so I'm really interested in if we can find life beyond, beyond the Earth to see if it's the same or it's different. So that's the ultimate goal. But first, we have to go back to the moon. Yeah, well, thank you so much. We're loving the shirt as well this morning, uh, Ken, Dr. Ken Kramer, uh, talking to us all thank about you. the moon.